Hello and welcome to another episode of Friday Fly Day. Today we are tying a double tungsten nymph, similar to the good old Simon's Ugly. We'll be tying this fly on size 10 barbed Kumo hooks available from I Love Fly Fishing. We're using a 3.3mm black nickel metallic tungsten bead, as well as a 3.5mm gold tungsten bead. I'll be tying it using 80 black uni thread. For the legs I'll be using mini bug legs in brown. For the dubbing I'm using grey squirrel dub. I'll be waxing my thread for the dubbing with Loon Swax Low Tech. And I'll use medium copper wire for the rib. For the hook and the vise we're going to start by laying a short base of thread right at the eye. Just like that. And this is to tie in the antenna before we stick up the bead. So just put a little bit of thread base. Then grab a 2-3 to three inch section of the mini bug legs. And you stick that underneath the thread. Catch the thread, lift it up and get it right up to the hook, on top of the hook, pinch it with your other fingers and now just stretch it and do a couple of winds over and that is your antennae tied in. I'm just going to whip finish that straight away because we still need to stick the beads on. Okay, snip that off. You want, you want to keep the Thread on this uh, thread base quite low on this so that the bead can go over. I'm immediately going to trim these to make keep them out of the way. I'll fold them back. Don't stretch them too much, and I'm going to cut them right at the hook bend. That's about the length I want them, and that will sit nicely up front like that. Now we're going to stick on the beads. Okay, so once your beads are on, you can stick the hook back into the vise. You've got your two beads there, and what you're going to do is you're going to start with thread again. And make sure that front bead slides over the thread so that it sits nicely that will keep that bead in place now you're going to put the back bead in place so what I do is I start my thread but I slot it into the slot of the slotted bead if you have a slotted bead and then I'm just going to wind it around and around and around and around keeping it tight until that comes up tight that will just secure that bead in place with the thin thread it takes quite a few winds to do this but anyway that, that will keep it in place there very good and now I'll just continue my thread base going back using my thread tag end at 45 degrees to help create that thread base and I'll go all the way back just to the where the bend of the hook starts but not past the bend of the hook. Okay, snip that off. Now I'm going to tie in my copper wire rib. And I'll put this to the side and I generally tend to slot it into the slot of the bead, tie it up the side of the hook on my side. And I'll firmly tie that in. Okay, now I'll get another piece of the mini bug legs, again about two inches long, and I'm going to do the same as with the antenna, go underneath the thread, lift it up so it's on top of the hook, pinch it with my fingers, lift it up, and then just put a couple of wraps over it and one behind it. And that will secure your tail in place as well. Okay, now I'll go right back to the end and we're going to start with the dubbing. Now because I'm using squirrel dub and I want a nice scruffy fly very similar to a hair and copper style, I'm going to be putting wax on my thread. The wax helps keep the uh, dubbing on if you're dubbing it lightly and you're not really twisting it around so I'm going to lightly dub this out trying to keep it thin at the start and then a little bit more towards the end okay very sparse at the start try not to twist it on too much but do twist it on a little bit and now we are ready to start winding on the dubbing. Try not to put too much, you can always add more um, rather than trying to take it away. 
So I start that dubbing and then just start making our way up the hook and trying to build a sort of a bit of a taper. Okay, just so that a little bit and then just keep going. And we're gonna add a little bit more wax and a little bit more dubbing. And just slowly build this up, not trying to add too much dubbing at a time. Just add little bits and go in sections. Make it a little bit thicker towards this side and okay not too much pinch off the excess you can see it's nice and spiky perfectly nice and spiky there okay now we're ready to wind on the rib which I'm going to do the opposite way and try and get three or four even wraps in over the abdomen okay now to tie that in, I'm going to wrap my thread around it, pull it tight, wrap my thread around it again and pull it tight, wrap it around it again and pull it tight and then have a couple of winds over it and a couple of winds behind it. And now all I'm going to do is helicopter it off, it'll be nice and tight. So now that we've tied off the copper wire, we're just going to continue the dubbing. We're not going to put in a wing case. I'm going to wax the thread again, put a bit more dubbing. And I'm putting a reasonable amount. What I want to do is go over this bead now and cover that thread where we tied in the uh, copper wire. So winding that a couple of winds up and then just go over the bead and slot it in between the other two beads. And I'm gonna build up a little bit of dubbing in here to help me secure the legs more easily. Otherwise, the legs just slip into that gap and it becomes a bit hard to tie on. So that, that should do. Okay. Now, fluff that up a little bit. Okay, so at this point, I'm just gonna use my old toothbrush to get rid of loose fibers and also fluff it up a bit. Okay, pinch the excesses off. I want a nice buggy fly, so that's ideal. Okay, now we're gonna get, tie the legs in. Again, about a two inch piece of the mini bug legs. Same thing, we're gonna slot it underneath the thread Lift it up, I'm going to do the first one on my side, tie that in, one wrap, and then we're going to do the next one, another piece, and that will go in on the far side, a couple of wraps, all we do now is just put a tiny amount more dubbing on just to cover that thread and keep the legs separated. Fold that back leg back. Go in between. Okay, I'm gonna go forward with the legs. A couple of winds. And to finish off, I always put a dab of super glue on the thread. Use gel super glue. Line those up. Couple of more ends of the thread, the super glue, and then just whip finish. And that will keep it all secure. Work that in there with your fingernails behind the bead. And whip finish, extra secure. Slip off the thread. Okay, make sure your legs are all adjusted. Now all we have to do is trim the legs, so pinch up from underneath. Get those legs together, pinch them up. Don't pull on these rubber legs, otherwise you'll stretch them too much. And then just where the start of the tail is, I'm gonna snip those off and trim them. There we go. 
nice and then the tail I'm going to be trimming about the length of the total fly and that's it there that's your double tungsten nymph very similar to a Simon's ugly fly very good for deep water now, if you enjoyed this video please click the subscribe button and watch on to the next videos coming up on screen thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one